Hello everyone. In this particular video, we'll be talking about the Sunline. Everybody wants to know about their career. They want to know how their career is going to basically fare. And for that, we have to look at the Sunline. But just like any other line, too much of importance is given to the Sunline. People think if they don't have a Sunline, they would have they would not have any career. But at the same time, people when they see a strong sunline they think they assume that their career is going to be a very very strong career but in real life it might not be so so in this particular video we are going to be talking about various kinds of sunline and how your career is actually going to be uh, when we look at your sunline so there are going to be three kind of lines we are going to be talking about thin and light uh, colored lines weak lines wavy lines and strong lines these are the few lines basically we will be talking about in this particular video so before we go to the video i would uh, also request you to uh, click on the like button and do subscribe to my channel uh, and uh, uh, that is after you basically see the video but right now we'll be just i'll be just explaining to you what the whole video is all about so we would also be talking about few lines that we see on uh, the Mount of Sun. If we see a triangle-like formation, it is generally considered to be good. If we see an island-like formation, even that is basically, uh, that is not, not so good. It is considered to be bad. A grid-like formation is one of the worst things to have on anywhere on the palm and specifically on the Mount of, uh, Mount of Sun. Uh, it is going to distract the person. The person wouldn't be able to concentrate on any career. The person is going, going to be changing his career too, too often. If there are breaks and too many lines over it, again, it would mean too many uh, career changes. A tassel-like uh, like lines over the amount of sun would also mean basically bad indications. Dot lines also bad. Chain-like formations uh, are also bad. Square-like formations is something like preservation and trident is basically considered to be good if it is pointing towards the finger. If it is pointing to uh, in, in the reverse opposite side of the finger, then again, it is not considered to be good. A star like formation is again, basically a good, uh, good indication to have on the sun line and a transverse, uh, trans transverse lines like horizontal kind of lines. Those are basically negative uh, things to see. So, uh, so, in palmistry, people think that if they have a sunline, it indicates success. People also think if they have a fish or a triangle or a star, it means success. Uh, it may be partially true. I do not disagree with it, but I do not agree with the fish sign. A hand should have good qualities in general all over the palm. If the all over the palm is good, probably like Venus is good. The area of desires is good. The Mars, the fighting spirit is good. The mercury, the technical skills is good. Basically, it would bring most strength to the sunline. In itself, the sunline would mean nothing. So be, be aware that uh, you should have uh, you should have good indications all over your palm, not necessarily just oh, just a strong uh, line of sun. Uh, everyone wants to know about their career. So now we are going to come back to. Uh, the uh, the palm and I would draw a few lines over it so that you come to know what I am talking about. So the first line that I'm going to draw is going to be the light kind of lines. Light kind of lines are some something like these. They might be broken, they might be long, deep and clear, they might be long. Uh, see if, if I zoom into it probably that's the area you're going to going to be seeing so this is this is what you see these these lines are there but not necessarily these are the best kind of lines people think that if they have a sun line it's all good but weak lines are not good it is correlated like i'll try to correlate it to uh to uh, uh to sun because this is the area of sun we are talking about and the clouds so if the lines are very thin and uh, not so uh, not so clear it indicates that the person is having doubts in his work and doubts in your work is the worst thing to have 
as far as your career goes because if you have got doubts whoever you go to to take a particular contract or or, or be in a particular service you would always be uh, doubtful f- of what you are basically doing so this is the worst case scenario when you uh, when a person has got very very thin kind of lines then we basically also see in few hands that the person might have a little bit deeper kind of line deeper kind of line deeper kind of uh, but not so, not so uh, not so deep but a little bit better than the thin lines that i i just already showed you so if the lines are uh, comparatively like stronger but still weak we we would again say that the it is kind of related to that there are less clouds if there are less clouds uh, it would mean that the career is going to be sometimes good and sometimes not so good in the past what i have already explained to you if the lines were thin if the lines were extremely thin it would mean that the clouds are deep and the sun is not able to shine on onto the onto the earth and that is the reason why probably uh your career is not taking uh like it's not uh you're not able to prioritize your career and you're not able to give full energies to your career just like a, a strong sun uh gives good energies to the earth same way if there are, if there are clouds then basically you are not able to give good energies to your work a little bit better line would mean as i have already told you it means that probably the person might have uh, might have a some phases of good career and some phases of bad career uh, but the best kind of lines are the lines that are deep and clear and deep and clear lines need not be need not be uh like these lines uh, need not be very long kind of lines e- even if a person has got a line just under the amount of sun that is basically good enough it would mean that the person would give huge amounts of energies to his work and that's the reason why his career is going to be extremely good uh in this uh, case you would say it might appear that the line is broad but bro- Uh, this is not what i really wanted to draw but i just because i have to show three different kind of lines that's the reason uh, uh the third one is coming out to be broad broad lines uh i am going to tell you in a different way some way i just explain to you that too if a person has got a broad line see broad lines are the worst kind of lines any line which becomes broad indicates that the person uh like the whole area basically becomes bad it means that uh, the career is going to go down the drain uh, the person wouldn't get any benefit out of it and the person wouldn't be able to give good energies to it also so broad line is is not considered to be good just a deep and clear line are the best basically lines uh and a line that is wavy kind also is is not good so wavy lines are bad lines deep and clear lines are the best lines deep and clear lines means that there are no clouds in the sky there is no doubts in your mind and that's the reason your career is is the best because you are giving full energies to your career so that that is how we are basically coming to know uh, as far as those uh, signs have i already told you if, if a person has got a star it would mean that they would be br- brilliant career but again regarding this particular star Uh, i i would uh, I, i would basically tell you that a star should be deep and clear and singular kind it if if it's kind of made up of lines that are kind of criss crossing like uh, the line is out here then a long line is crossing here over here and uh, another one is crossing like this probably it might not be the best of things so a simple small kind of a star is better than having those criss crossing lines uh people might also uh, say that they just have a like kind of a very star formed with a very very thin kind of lines even this is not not considered to be good because what would happen is that uh, it would reduce the quality of uh, the good quality of the star uh, same goes with the triangle same goes with all other signs 
So even if a person has got negative signs like too many lines over it or, or a grill, probably it wouldn't be so bad. Uh, like out here, out here, if they are weak kind of lines, it wouldn't be so bad and a stronger line would basically be proportionally more bad if they are the, they are crisscrossing kind of lines over the amount of sun. So, so there's a difference between uh, the strength of the line, uh, strength of the line that also matters gr greatly. So, uh, uh, that's it for this particular reading. I hope you like this particular video. If you like this video, do click on the like button and do subscribe to my channel. And uh, just before going, I would. Uh, just tell you a few more things regarding the sun finger. The sun finger is the area of ego, attraction, socializing, risk taker, creativity. We won't be able to come to know what career you're going to choose, but we, are, we can say that uh, how good your career is going to be. If the length of the finger is very long and nearing to the finger of Saturn, this is the finger of Saturn. This is the finger of Saturn. This is the finger of sun. So. If it is nearing to the closely to the uh, length of the Saturn finger, it would mean that the person is a great risk taker. The person might not actually gamble, but he might gamble with his life. Gambling with his life is different from gambling like that particular gambling like uh, card playing and all. Uh, uh, lastly, I would uh, request you to give your comments and a like button if you like the particular video and uh, do subscribe to my channel and uh, lastly i would also ask you to visit my uh, um, my channel and uh, there's a playlist you can there are segment segmented playlist where uh, i have categorized like businessmen uh, people who are in politics, people who are in uh, science and mathematics, or people who have some particular disease. So different areas I have categorized out here. This is the hand of uh, Mukesh Ambani, that, this particular video. But there are other videos also that you can see on the right hand side. This is a playlist of famous people, Sunil Gavaskar, Lalu Prasad Yadav, then uh, Priyanka Chopra, Kumara Banglam Birla and uh, Salman Khan, Bill Gates. So various people uh, I've given, uh, like uh, I, I've explained what their hand says. Do not also take it for granted that uh, that if, if you have similar kind of hands like Mukesh Ambani, you would also be super rich or maybe a billionaire. These are just uh, indicative. Not necessarily it would mean that you would have the same fate as this particular person. Although uh, there's a very good chance that if you have similar hands, probably you would be able to manage money much better compared to the others. Uh, so thank you for watching. Bye and take care. And uh,